everybody! As requested, today we're gonna have a quick guide on money making for Moonstone Island. Unlike other games with the farming and life sim elements, it's rather easy to get rich in Moonstone Island, and there's not much stuff that you can buy here too. But anyways, this guide will talk about the different ways to make money to help you decide which one works best for your playstyle. Now let's begin! Spirit Taming and Banishing you can get loaded on your first week in Moonstone Island by actively taming and banishing spirits. Just go to Zets whenever you're ready to turn in your research. Taming low-level spirits is the fastest way for this technique. Look how much I made by taming a lot of low-level spirits in a day. Hatching eggs from the spirit barn also counts towards taming, so if you don't want to actively tame and banish every day for income, then you can just upgrade your spirit barn and hatch some eggs. Barn Management if you want to make some money from your spirit barn, then you gotta craft some moongrass spirit stall and find the psychic storm as soon as possible, because we'll be taming lots and lots of psychic spirits. But you might be wondering, but Mir, why a psychic spirit specifically? Good question, my dear alchemist, because if a psychic storm hits a low-level island, then the psychic spirits there would be low-level too. Make use of that opportunity to tame as much psychic spirits as you can because their drops are worth 400 gold from the cell crate and 600 gold if you sell it to Zed. Using a Psychic Sight Potion helps you find the Psychic Spirit Storm as well, and this works for Dark Spirits too, as their drops has the same price. The only problem with Dark Spirits are that they're usually level 40+, plus, so you'd probably unlock them much later in-game, unlike the Psychic Spirits, and you'd be needing some stronger taming plans or concoctions for the Dark Spirits. This is my favorite method, as once you've invested on Moongrass Spirit Stalls, this method is a passive income and it barely costs time to finish gathering their drops. Farming and Mining These two methods go hand in hand because you'd be needing some copper and iron bars to craft a lot of sprinklers if you want to make some income through farming. Gather some seeds from the wild, sell one to Ophelia or Guyana to unlock the seeds at the general store, and then use your extra seeds for planting. I personally prefer planting crops that regrows because it's less of a trouble and it saves me time. For mining, you'd want to craft an abundance potion and dedicate a day to do mining to make the most of your potion's effect. Getting the rock smack skill is also recommended as it makes mining much faster. Smelt your ores into bars and make sure to sell them to Farah for more income. Though the problem with farming and mining is that they take a while to do, leaving you with barely enough time to explore the world. Like for example, you'd have to spend some time gathering seeds or you can buy them from Rowan, but that lowers your income. And then you have to use your time for planting them too, harvest them, and then at the end of the season, there's a whole bunch of dead plants to clean up. On the other hand, for mining, you'd want to use an abundance potion, dedicate your whole day to mining, plus crafting ingots can take a while and cost much resources for crafting furnaces. They just don't feel time efficient at all, but they can be an option too. Just choose whatever floats your boat. Finishing the game After finishing the game, you'd receive an item that gives you moonstone every day. You can just sell your moonstones once you unlock this item, because trust me, you'd end up with thousands of them if you choose to craft a lot of these. And that's about it! Which one is your favorite method? If you have any Moonstone Island guide requests, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to move that like and subscribe for more indie game guides coming your way.